Hey guys, welcome back. I have a new video today. This is on a day on the farm coloring book. It's a New Hampshire farm market. It is by Patty Vidalia. This is the second book that I have reviewed for Patty. You can find her other one on my channel. It is about Milton Farm, and that is in New Hampshire's Lake region. Um, it is a really cute book. This is by um, that's what the spine looks like. This is the cover. It's really pretty. Good quality, heavy duty book. Um, I don't think it says how many pages I was reading it, but, um, I don't, I didn't see how many pages it was. Um, <clears throat> the front cover, as well as the back cover, shows you different pictures of the real life Molten Farm and the uh, uh, employees and owners and such that work there and it gives you a really detailed um, description of the farm and when it was um, built in 1811 and it's just a really nice story and then we have the, um, the nameplate page the paper is really nice quality it's got that um, it's almost like a slick paper if, if it makes sense to you. It's sh shiny and slick a little bit. It doesn't have a lot of tooth, but I find that um, markers and things work really good on this type of paper. They are single-sided. They are non-perforated. They are all squared off, and the lines are really, really nice. Um, this coloring book is perfect for adult or children. So let's start flipping. They just have some really beautiful pictures in here. That is gorgeous. Little beekeeper. Got some dragonflies. I love this one. I marked this one because this is um, probably going to be my next one. I usually mark the top three that I want to get started first. I love it with the bees and everything. And then we got, okay, some of them are landscape and some of them are um, portrait. Who's got a, a whole truck of watermelon? Uh oh, we lost one. <clears throat> oh, these would be great for your kids. You could, I mean, even if it's not perforated, you could easily like, um, cut these out, hang them up. Your kids would be so proud. I really like this one with the um, lobster and everything. You can see it this way. I guess it's either way, huh? You know what it is? It's that fish, that flounder's freaking out. <laughs> Got the tractor. And here is Molten Farm, Farmer's Market. From farm to table. Really cute. Nice. It's the one I started. I'm still not finished. I have to finish the background and the table and a spoon. I could not find a good um, silver pen. I gotta find a good silver pen, but I really like how it is coming out. It looks so good. <coughs> and this is a cute little corn maze. I just feel like I skipped the page. No. Um, we have here. Oh, a little hayride. Look at all the pumpkins. This would be great. Fall's coming up. Great pictures for the fall. Oh, beautiful. Look at these heirloom tomatoes. This would be beautiful. Um, colored or painted in, and you can hang this up in your kitchen. That would be gorgeous. Oh, I love this. For Halloween or the fall. How fun would that be to go there and um, pick pumpkins for Halloween? Look at the corn. The mice are getting it. We got the scarecrow. Kids will love some of these pages. Adults too. Oh, we got a cornucopia. That's beautiful.
Oh yeah, this looks like Christmas or Thanksgiving when everybody's cooking. Wow, using all their products and produce from the farm. That's awesome. Got their honey. Got their strawberries, pumpkins, their squashes. That's awesome. Oh, here we go. We got Christmas. A little Christmas wreath. And that's it. I was testing colors out over here. This is really, really nice. And I like how you actually get to see the pictures of the real farm. I think that's a unique touch. It's really cool. All right, guys. Again, A Day on the Farm, a New Hampshire farm market coloring book, uh, Coloring for Everyone by Patty Vidalia. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I will post a link where you guys can purchase this. If you have any questions or comments, let me know, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up or the sub button. I would really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.